The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find statutory law in Westlaw Next. Let's first take a look at how to find statutes using the search bar at the top of the screen. You can use the search bar to find statutes in three ways, by code name, by citation, and by keywords. No matter which method you choose, it's always good practice to limit the jurisdiction you are searching using the jurisdictional box to the right of the search bar. Let's first try to find a statute by code name. If I want to find a statute in the United States Code, all I need to do is type in United States Code and then click on it in the drop down. From there you can use the search bar to search by keywords or you can browse the table of contents. Now let's try to find a statute by citation. All we need to do is type into the search bar the statute citation, click search, and a list of options will appear. Generally the statute you are looking for will be the first choice. Now let's try to find a statute by keyword. In this case I want to find the statute that applies to diversity jurisdiction. I enter in my terms, click search, and a list of results will appear. You can narrow down the list of results to just statutes by clicking on statutes under view. From there you have the option to restrict the list even more by several different criteria listed under narrow. So that is the three methods for finding statutes using the search bar. Now let's look at how to find statutes using the browse box. To find statutes using the all content tab you would first click on statutes and court rules. Now if you perform a search using the search bar, you will be searching across only statutes. At this point, the jurisdictional box would also still be in use. You can also narrow your search down even further by selecting statutes by a specific jurisdiction. You will notice that each time you click on a database, the search bar will change to search only that set of materials. The Federal Materials tab and the State Materials tab work in much of the same way as the All Content tab. The benefit of using them though is that you can narrow your search by jurisdiction much quicker than you could using the All Content tab. The last tab we will look at is the Topics tab. Once you select a topic, in this instance we'll select Criminal Law, you can see that the Criminal Law Statutes and Court Rules are located second on the list. This is a combined database of all of the statutory sections on Criminal Law. If you wanted to limit statutes to a specific jurisdiction, you could use the jurisdictional box or select the jurisdiction from the list provided. Now that we know how to find a statute, let's explore what a statute looks like in Westlaw Next. For the most part, a statute you access in Westlaw Next will look similar to one you access in a printed code, except it will have a few more editorial enhancements and tools. We will start from the top of the page and work our way down. First, you should pay attention to the tabs located across the top of the statute. These are useful for expanding upon your research or getting a better understanding behind the meaning of the statute. Notes of Decisions includes cases that have explained or applied the statute. History and Citing References are both components of the key site function, which we will discuss more in depth at a later time. It should be noted that history will provide you with the legislative history of the statute and previous versions of the statute. While citing references includes cases and other sources that have affected the validity of the section. Context and analysis provide you with a list of law reviews and journals, library references, and other secondary sources that provide analysis of the code section. The next part of the statute you should be aware of is the bar directly under the tabs. You can use the Sections function to flip between sections of the code. You can also access the Table of Contents. Let's now take a look at the actual statutory section. The first part includes the citation, the name of the section, and then the actual text of the statute. Following the text of the statute, you will find the credits which includes the history of the statute. History covers when the statute was passed and amended, along with references to the public law and statutes at large citations for those amendments. At the end of the statute, you will find another link for the notes of decisions. You will also find information on how current your law is. That is it for our overview of how to find statutory law in Westlaw Next.